Hello there. We've seen some strong aurora pictures coming in over recent hours here at the BBC Weather Centre. This beautiful one was from the Aberdeenshire area of northern Scotland, but this one is from Folkestone. The significance of this is if you can see the northern lights in Folkestone here in the UK, you can see it pretty much everywhere. So the Aurora is very strong. It's worth taking a look outside. Use a camera or a mobile phone to see the best views because those uh, bits of equipment are more sensitive than our eyes to low levels of light. And she ha has some spectacular images to share with us. Morning, Carol. Good morning, Sal and John. Good morning to you too. And Sal, as always, is quite right. The Northern Lights were seen widely across the country last night from north to south. So here's a spectacular one from Aberdeenshire from our weather watchers. And this one is a lot further south in Penzance. And we also saw them in Foxton and many places in between as well. Hopefully you did too. Today, though, we're looking at a mixture of sunny spells and scattered showers. Some of the showers will be heavy, potentially thundery as we go through the day in the west. Good morning. We had clear skies overnight last night, so if you're away from any light pollution, brief glimpses of this, the Aurora Borealis. Now, the light pollution obviously causing a problem for towns and cities, but away from that, there is another chance to see them tonight. Now, today it is largely dry. If you want some inspiration, maybe you could look to the skies and the beautiful <laughs> northern lights. Carol has... All... Are you going to make a toilet paper gag? You are, aren't you? <laughs> no, I think you're going to say, go and have a look in the loo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> John. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Carol, <laughs> lowering the standards. <laughs> they did it. Good morning, everybody. This morning, Sally is quite right because last night there were lots of viewings of the Northern Lights, north to south. So you can see this one from one of our weather watchers in Aberdeenshire. Come a bit further south into Suffolk. Look at these vibrant colours and come south again into Kent. We also had them here as we did in parts of Cornwall as well. So they were widely seen. Now, if you looked up into the skies last night, you probably saw quite a lot of fireworks. Yeah. But not just fireworks. Lots of you caught the glimpse of the northern lights as they lit up many parts of the UK. We've had some amazing pictures in. Uh, pictures online showing vivid shades of red and green and magenta caused by that geomagnetic storm, which means they were seen much further afield than usual. You just saw there, I think, a picture from North Yorkshire. Dunstanborough Castle in Northumberland looking beautiful and the northeast coast. And this one taken further south than you'd expect to see them in Folkestone. All the way Folkestone? down in Kent. Yeah, I think we got from, some from Cornwall as well earlier, didn't we? We're going to be calling them the Southern Lights soon, <laughs> aren't we? <laughs> Carol's got uh, some more amazing pictures for us and some maybe less amazing weather. Carol, morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, both. Good morning to you too. The weather's nothing like it was last week, I'm glad to say, this week. But we did see the Northern Lights literally from north to south. Cornwall and also Kent saw them, as indeed nor did Northumberland. Look at the colours in the sky. They're so vibrant. This one taken earlier by one of our weather watchers from Suffolk as well. Some spectacular scenes in the sky last night. Absolutely. Do you see them? No. No, me neither. <laughs> but but you've sent us lots of pictures, lots so of thank you for that. Carol's got some amazing pictures. <laughs> morning, Carol. Good morning, both. Good morning to you too. Sal and John are right. From north to south, many of us did get a glimpse off the Northern Lights. And look how spectacular these ones are in the Western Isles. And we also saw them a bit further south in Anglesey, but we saw them as far south as Cornwall and Kent. Well, um, if you're looking up to the skies last night, it wasn't just fireworks in the sky. Lots of you, lots of you caught a glimpse of the Northern Lights as they lit up lots of parts of the UK. Some stunning pictures posted online show vivid shades of red and green magenta caused by that geomagnetic storm which meant they were seen from much further afield than usual i think that's dunstanborough castle in northumberland northumberland looking beautiful another picture from the northeast just there the northeast coast this one taken much further south than we'd normally expect folkestone the northern in Lights kent in folkestone. indeed yeah What's no filters, they promise. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Thank you for all those. Keep them coming. Carol's got the weather for us this morning. She's got some lovely pictures as well. Good morning. Good morning, both. Good morning to you too. In fact, the Northern Lights were seen as far south as the Alps last night. But you can see this fabulous picture as well from one of our weather watchers earlier, taken in North Yorkshire. Now then as we head on through Wednesday into Thursday, you can see that front's well and truly gone. We start pulling in more of a westerly 
for many of us or a northwesterly eventually. So it is going to turn colder. In fact, we could well see some snow on the tops of the Scottish hills as we head towards the end of the week, above five or six hundred metres or so. So Despite the temperatures being very similar to what we're looking at during the week, because of that northwesterly wind, it's actually going to feel cooler. And we'll start off with some showers, but another area of low pressure comes our way into the weekend, and that is going to bring more rain. So once again, it turns a bit more unsettled and the winds will strengthen as well. Sal and John. Thank you, Carol. Is it too early to ask you about a white Christmas? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I love that. I knew you'd hate that. But there is method in my madness. There's method in my madness.